the mission was successful. Not wanting to wait around for the Germans' response, the French organized a flight for us to London. We were full of hope and optimism. We'd finally be able to rid ourselves of our overwhelming burden. Like in a fairy tale, where everything ends well, it couldn't have ended any other way. After all, we've traveled thousands of miles, fought countless foes, embraced death many a time. Nothing could stop us. And yet, our mission was ground to a halt by petty British bureaucracy. Ironically, while we filled out one irrelevant document after another, the rest of our group was engaged in fighting a more tangible enemy elsewhere. Greta had regular contact with the Home Army. She kept us informed about what was going on in occupied Poland. She told us how Led and the others were ordered to join the Warsaw Uprising. But first, they had to break through the German-Russian front line near the city. Uh, seems like both sides are dug in pretty well here. It won't be easy to get through to Warsaw. Yeah, but we have to work something out. Look, the Russians are advancing. And that's all, folks. Maybe we should use one of the attacks as cover. You know, somehow. Yeah, somehow. But they don't look so eager to attack anytime soon. Perhaps if we spread some fake orders. Lucas, you speak Russian so far as I remember. Duh. So if I could get to that pissing off loudspeaker, I could work something out. Yeah, the Soviets are disorganized as hell. They should take the bait. Okay, it's settled. Let's move out. Alright, so welcome to one of... If you need to do something noisy, wait for the next barrage. Oh, thanks, Mr. Obvious. Rubble, shut up. Yes, Cap. So welcome to the most easiest mission in the entire back. Absolutely. The entire game. Where you can more or less just shoot everybody with your heart. Might have fucked up some somehow. Uh, although I doubt it's actually my fault. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is because this guy didn't get the. Uh, Shot everyone just somehow knew that we were here. Don't ask me how, but. Oh, 
wipe them out. Yeah. Then again, that's okay. Um, kind of clearing an area. So, uh, ouch. Well, that cleared out a fuckload. Hey, it cleared out this area, almost. And that area. Well, that makes it a hell of a lot more easier. Um, let's just hide it. Any idea how the uprising's going? Not good, from what I've heard. That's very encouraging. Apparently, any progress made by insurgents has been squashed by the Germans. Well, they're civilians versus a regular army. The odds are low, if you ask me. I know. But nevertheless, we should help. And die in there if we have to. <laughs> I've been dead inside for a long time now. I don't think you have, big guy. You don't act like you don't care. I believe if we, if we pick up enough fucking... Okay, yeah, actually I have a... PPS uh, 41. So, you seem to be an explosives amateur also. <laughs> Amateur? That's not the case, pal. I've been blowing up things for my entire civilian life. How so? I was a miner. We handled explosives. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I thought you were some sort of engineer in the army. Ah, uh, if you call doing the worst jobs available being an engineer, then yeah, I was. Yeah, I get you, brother. Totally get you. I never heard that conversation before. First time hearing that. Uh, we gotta be looking for pistols uh, quick. Who has the least ammo? Both of you, okay. Um, let's start with you. Gotta start with someone. Next time we pick up ammunition, it's gonna be for Lucas or whoever is lowest on it next time. <coughs> so, um, let's take rubble. Right away. We're gonna save Go fast. There we go. Captain, I wanted to ask you how a Lithuanian ended up in the AK. Hell of a time for talking. We have a job to do here. Now come on, long story short. 
Uh, the AK took me because of my smuggling skills and hatred for Russians and Germans. But weren't Lithuanians collaborating with the... My people are collaborating with Germans because they have experienced what the Soviet regime does. Well, we experienced both of them at once. You know how it works. People are stupid. Just give them rifles and tell them, for example, these wealthy Jews are responsible for your miserable life. No different from a Bolshevik revolution. Nor French. Yet again, these wealthy people are responsible for your miserable life and bah! Nobility slaughtered. So you know, I was born in a noble family, so any kind of people's revolution is against me. Yeah, seems like you're a dying kind. I'm sorry. Never heard that one uh, either, to be honest. Glad I did. Glad I did. Uh, let's see. Uh, he can actually see how can he? I don't know. Do we want to pick up that water bottle? Or. <laughs> like. Yeah, no. Uh, what guy bottle? Could be useful. Is. Moonshine, okay. Is very useful. As I said, never tried this one. challenge. Uh, if it doesn't work, then we are just gonna reload, I suppose. Then again, it is kinda fast. 
helicopter, I think you don't have to wait on a truck. You get the bypass a lot, but uh, I don't know. Let's let's try the truck first. So I would have to cover me. Go go go. And they won't give a shit. Of course. Okay, so we have to deal with those guys before we think about anything. Okay, okay, yes, him. No. I don't know. Uh, 
nothing to deal with him though. The only way up is on that side. Okay, so thank you all for watching. I I figure this out. Um, as I said, never done it this way. So uh, yeah, have a good one. Farewell.